everyone, Andrew here, Real 4 by 4 Adventures. We've been over at Fraser Island for the last eight nights, and during this time I've been staying at Cathedrals on Fraser. So Cathedrals on Fraser is a cathedral beach on Fraser Island. So just where I'm looking here is the path. It's about 500 metres the driveway down to the beach. There's a dingo fence, so you're fully safe from wildlife. Um, as you come up to the driveway to the left here, uh, you've got apparently some uh, some coach spaces for, for big tour groups. Then you've got fuel and you've got the store. Now the driveway there goes up to, to the campsite and then over to the right here you've got a toilet block that's accessible for people who are not staying here. So you actually find there's a lot of people that will come in for breakfast, lunch or dinner. There's an early dinner. Um, also fuel, drinks. Um, at the, the general store there there's a range of food convenience bits and pieces some automotive bits and pieces for drive recovery gear uh, etc uh, pretty limited supply but there's a good range for what there is uh, just to my right here you can see there's, there's a range of seating so if you're just coming in uh, for a short visit uh, you have plenty of options there to sit relax you've got some underground not underground sorry you've got some undercover seating there um, as we walk up here towards the campsites Got some more outdoor seating, either for people who are staying here or for people who are just coming in for a short visit. There's a kids' playground. Now behind the kids' playground, you've got some powered sites there, and you've also got a number of unpowered sites as well. Now as we keep heading up the driveway here, up to the right here. You've got some unpowered, unpowered sites. Down here next to the park, you've got a whole heap of underground, oh no, underground <laughs> undercover seating. Um, so again, if you are staying in the park and kids are having a little play, come down. We actually brought dinner down one night. I'm just relaxed here while the kids are playing. You can see through the bushes there, there's Heap of trees, all the French all the sites are, are quite nice and shady. The powered sites are closest to this park area, and then the unpowered sites are further over. Now over to the right here, you've got some unpowered sites as well as powered sites, and there's also a camp kitchen. There's a number of camp kitchens throughout the, the premises. There's a Beach volleyball court. Just gonna watch out, there's a car coming down, don't want to get me. So again, just having a look there around the grounds. Staff are all super friendly, do a lot of work to make sure it's all looking clean and looking in a well upkept manner. So we've got here there, there's some signs to get around. Just over there in the distance you can see the, the camp kitchen. Now, just over there, as well as the camp kitchen, there's, a, there's an amenities block. And then, if you go further in, there's actually some permanent tents, and there's another camp kitchen near those. There isn't an amenities block there, but it's very close to the other amenities block. Uh, up to the left is just the, the staff quarters. Doing a little bit of watering the garden, which is great. Um, one of the very cool things about staying here um, all the sites have access to, to drinking water, which is awesome. There's also a number of cabins. I won't go down the road, but we can see down the road. And the car coming behind me again soon. Got a number of cabins down there. Again, a range of powered sites. And then some more permanent tents. Another amenities block. And another two camp kitchens. And then we're staying further over where I'm shooting now and there's a whole few powered sites down there and then down the end of the road round to the left you've got a number of unpowered sites so the first one's near the beach volleyball court and these ones down the end here to the left which are unpowered sites probably the furthest ones from camp kitchens and amenity blocks the two amenity blocks also have laundry facilities which are really good uh, and the showers there they're free but they're five minute time showers 
But look, we've really enjoyed it here. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks a lot.